What's up to uh, all my fellow builders out there on YouTube? Um, Big Boonski here, coming at you with the final update on the uh, 57 Ford Custom. Uh, came out really good. I was really happy with it. Um, I know I gave you guys a little tour of the interior and stuff the other day when it was said it was almost done, but now she is done. So she's getting ready to go on shelf. But thought I'd give you guys a quick uh, final look at it. Um, the 57, man. Um, you know, uh, the uh, 55, 56, 57 Chevy Bel Airs, they all get uh, plenty of notoriety. But the uh, 57 Ford has uh, got some nice lines to it. And uh, ever since uh, Dr. Cranky uh, did his unboxing back in November, I really wanted to build this kit. And uh, when uh, Rick over in uh, at uh, Scale Car Models decided to do a community build, um, decided on this kit here. Uh, I know he's doing one, and a couple other guys are doing one. Um, and I had just happened to get quite a bit done on mine. Uh, I know everybody else has cleared cleared them off for right now. Um, that's good. Uh, everybody's focusing on the uh, Dave Parker thing, which is real cool. Uh, I am too. But, like I said, this was almost done, so I decided to go ahead and give you guys the uh, final tour. So, uh, yeah, um, 57 Ford Custom. There she is, guys. Um, like I said, I went with the uh, two-tone silvers. Uh, silver and... Uh, uh, charcoal gray, um, Pegasus wheels, um, yeah, turned out real nice, uh, I'm kind of happy with it, um, real good kit, I, uh, I agree with Rick and Dr. Cranky as well as far as, uh, the quality of the kit goes, um, really, really nice kit, so, um, I'll uh, pull the camera off the tripod and uh, give you guys a quick look and uh, see what you guys think. Alright. See, uh, you can see I detailed the chassis. is in a uh, nice color of red. Uh, carried the theme from the interior. Got red on the interior. Red on the... Uh, Full chassis underneath, um, flat back mostly for the floor pan, but the chassis itself is in red. The motor block and tranny is in red, and uh, yeah, I put this uh, red uh, red pinstripe down the side. Let me uh, put the camera down for a second and uh, move this off of the... Hold on one second, guys. Alright. <clears throat> She's got a really nice stance to it. Um, real street rodish looking. Like I said, guys, I was real happy with the way this car came out. I haven't figured out how to easily open this hood yet, but the motor is all done. I think I showed you guys that the other day. Oh, oh well. You guys saw that the other day, so. But, uh, yeah. There she is. I, um... The only thing I did to customize this kit, really, was, um... As you can see on the box art, there's this piece of trim on this body right here, body trim, and uh, I really didn't think it was very flattering to the way the, uh, to the body lines of the car, so I, I completely shaved that off, and that was probably the most work, because uh, it took quite a bit of body work to get that thing off of there without screwing up the body lines of the car. 
And then I, uh, like I said, I went with the body lines and came up with a striping uh, that was, uh, I think, really um, went well with the body lines. And then I um, two-toned it by doing the top and the bottom half. And I think the red uh, really stands out against the silver. But yeah, like uh, Dr. Cranky said, man, this, this is a really nice kit. I was really, really happy with it. Really happy with the way it came out. Looks good on these Pegasus mag wheels. Was able to get the interior done. Dash is the same, still silver as the car. Yeah, that's it guys. 57 Ford Custom. A little bit of eye candy for you. Alright guys, uh, this is Big Bloomski and uh, I'm going to get on out of here. Hope you guys like it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. You know the deal. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Later.